Hello YouTube, it's Rob the Tech was here, and finally I'm going to be showing you how to put the official Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich update onto your Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket from AT&T. Um, this update itself has been out for about a week now, uh, by this point in mid-July. Um, I just didn't get around to putting it on my phone when it first came out, but luckily AT&T sent me a little reminder text earlier today that the update was available, so I figured I'd go ahead and do that, and I'll walk you through the process as well. Um, so real quick, I just wanted to show you that I am running uh, version 2.3.6 Gingerbread right now, so hopefully by the end of the video we'll see Android version, or Android version 4.0 right there. Um, so the first thing we want to do is back up our contacts. So in case they're, in case it's not um, restored properly after the update, uh, you won't have to go in and enter in all your contacts again. So go ahead and go to your contacts, and hit your menu key, import export, and select export to SD card. And then what that's going to do is it's going to show you the file extension where it's saved. Um, the file itself is going is to be titled 00001.vcf. Um, if you have an external external SD card installed, that's where it's going to be saved. Otherwise, it's going to be stored in just the standard uh, SD card storage part of your phone. So go ahead and select OK, and it'll export those. Okay, and now that that's done, um, everything else we're going to be doing on the computer. So I will see you after this transition there. Okay, so I'm all set up now on my computer. Um, if you have an external SD card and that's where you exported your your contact list to, as well as you know that's where you have all of your pictures and videos and music, um, what you can do is just dismount the, the SD card and remove it from your phone during the update process. The website says that that's not necessary and that everything will, on it will be okay, but if I were you, I'd just take it out just to be safe. Um, so I'm going to be continuing assuming that you don't have an external SD card and that everything including your contacts that you just exported, your music and your pictures and your videos are all stored in the phone itself. So with that said, go ahead and go into your phone storage. And as you can see, down at the bottom should be the file that we exported containing our contacts. So what we're going to do with this um, is put it into a folder and just keep it on the desktop just to keep it safe so go ahead and create a folder on your desktop and I'm just gonna call it phone backup and that's where we're gonna be saving everything okay so just go ahead and drag this over here and just go ahead and if you have any music on your on your phone just copy this should be a folder that just simply says music so go ahead and copy and paste that as well okay so once that's been copied and pasted in um, if you have any um, any extra ringtones that you've downloaded um, you can go ahead and copy and paste those over as well and same thing with if you have any um, special notification sounds that you've downloaded um, copy and paste those as well I believe whoops I believe I do have some so put that in the phone backup folder as well okay and to get your f your pictures and your videos they're gonna be stored in the file called DCIM which I believe stands for digital camera image management um, so go ahead and go into that and where it says camera and here's where it's going to have all of your all of your individual pictures and videos that you've recorded or taken pictures of with your camera so just back out to the to the folder that just says camera and just go ahead and copy that whole folder and paste it in here okay and now that's finished um, so the next step is going to be the actual uh, download and installation of the the Samsung Keys application and the ice cream sandwich update itself as well. And with this folder, I just keep it you know smack dab right in the middle of your desktop, so you know you can find it after the update's complete. So this is the website you need to go to. It is www.samsung.com backslash or forward slash sorry us slash att skyrocket slash update. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you don't feel like typing all that out. 
Um, so up here is just a quick explanation of what's going to happen. Um, it tells you to back up a few of the things that I already showed you, like pictures, videos, and contacts. Um, so here, this blue this blue image that says download Samsung keys, that's the first step we need to do. So go ahead and click that. Okay, then from here, scroll down to where it says download keys. Uh, if you have, depending on what you have, Windows or Mac, I have Windows. I'm running Windows 7, so that's what I'll select. And it's going to go ahead and download that, so I'll pick back up when that's complete. Okay, so once the exe file is finished downloading, go ahead and run it. Select your your language. In my case is English. Hopefully yours is too, since I don't speak any other languages. Accept the terms. You can read through this if you choose, but I'm going to trust Samsung, so hopefully they don't let me down. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here while it goes through the installation. Uh, if something pops up, I'll resume back so that you know what to do. So sit tight. Okay, so after quite some time, you'll hopefully see this prompt that the installation was complete and that it'll ask you these options. I would leave them both checked and then click finish. I'm going to minimize this for now. Okay, so immediately after installation, um, it's going to tell you that a new version of the, of, the, of the program is available and ask you if you want to update. So I would definitely choose yes. Yes, I'll allow it to make changes. Okay, and once again, I'll pick you back up once the update is complete. Okay, now that the update's complete, it's going to try to connect to my to my Skyrocket. Uh, I still have it plugged in from uh, from when I was doing the backup and getting all the the pictures and videos and music off of it. So hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Okay, so after it finally connects to your phone, um, it'll recognize that there's a firmware um, version update, which is the ice cream sandwich update. So from here, just go ahead and click update. Um, yeah, sure, I've read all the information. Um, we're going to allow the saving and start upgrade. Once again, this is going to take quite a bit of time, so I'm going to pause the video and pick back up in a minute. I just wanted to note that throughout the download and install process, um, your operating system might prompt you for permission for the program um, to continue. Um, so just go ahead and select yes for all those prompts and wait for the process to be complete. Okay, and then once the download, the firmware download itself is complete, um, it's going to light up your phone and there will be a black screen with the Android guy on it. And it'll say downloading, do not turn off target. So be sure that you do not turn off your phone or remove the cord from it until the installation process is completely complete. Okay, and once the installation progress bar um, is up to 100, you're going to get this notice that the mobile phone settings, updates in progress, please do not connect the table, uh, the cable until the phone completely restarts. So just click OK and wait for your phone to completely restart. Okay, during the research or yeah, during the restart process, this window is going to appear um, and tell you that once the device restarts, disconnect and reconnect the cable. Um, but I also just wanted to let you know that right after the restart and the AT&T welcome screen and stuff like that, um, your phone's going to say Android is upgrading and there'll be um, a progress uh, circle going around it and saying optimizing application whatever number out of whatever number. So also wait for that to completely finish um, before you unplug the cord. So just because it says it on the screen, don't do it immediately. Okay, then right after um, the what I was just telling you about where, it's, where it says it's upgrading the applications, um, the lock screen is going to come up right away. But once again, just give it a minute. Don't unlock it. Um, you'll see something else where it'll say installing applications. Um, so just give that a minute um, before you unlock it. Okay, um, and then once 
And once it's finished ins installing the applications, you'll see the lock screen once again, but you'll notice um, you should have uh, the connection the connection bars for AT&T. Um, so once you see those, um, you can go ahead and unlock it if you want. Um, but uh, bef before I even do that, I'm going to do what this, con what this says and disconnect it. Um, wait a second and then plug it back in. My guess is right now it's just going to connect and double check that it's the latest firmware update and it might even say something that the that the uh, firmware update was successfully complete. So just give it a sec. Okay, so once you disconnect it, then reconnect it. Um, it'll come up with this with this page, um, and this just basically means that the latest firmware update was found on it, the ice cream sandwich update. Um, so that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, from here, you can disconnect it um, and close out of keys and check out your Skyrocket running the official ice cream sandwich update. Okay, after looking around a little bit on the newly my newly updated phone, um, I found that actually um, everything that I backed up was still intact. Um, all my contacts, music, um, pictures, and movies, and everything like that were still there. So hopefully the true is same for you, or the same is true for you, um, and that you really didn't even need those. Um, so sorry that I wasted your time, but it was always better to be safe than sorry. Um, as you can see here on my on my phone with the update, I still have the contact. Um, all my music is still here. Uh, my pictures, yes, all my pictures are still here. Um, so if your things are missing, all you need to do is copy and paste um, these three folders. You can just copy and paste right into the main to the main phone storage, um, the, your camera folder, if you go into the DCIM folder and paste that back in there, that'll work as well. And then if your contacts aren't there, if you copy and paste the 00001 file back in and then go to your file manager on your phone and import um, that file, select the file, then import it to your contact list, um, that's how you'll get the contacts back. But hopefully everything you have was still there and you really didn't even need to back it up. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Hopefully everything worked out as well for you as it did for me. And you now see that you're running Android version 4.0.4. .4. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box down below. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and like up the video if you found it helpful. And thanks for watching.